Hello, hello. Okay, Lady and the Frogs. We have Simon here. Simon, you look disgruntled. <laughs> right, okay, this video is going to be a very swift haul video of some clothes. Um, so I've got, I've got two boxes here. I've got one box in there which I've sort of just had a rough look through and it's just all like jeans and jumpers and shirts, men's shirts. So I've put that to one side because it seems a bit wintry. Um, so I'm going to try and pull out what I can that is. Honestly, just messed that up based on the microphone. So one, two boxes there. Um, pretty much overflowing. There is there is another box in there, but I'm not even going to start doing this because this is all stuff which I've bought to resell. The other box which I've got in there, which is overflowing, is so that stuff from family clear out. So I've pulled out. I think I'm going to try and do women's shorts and dresses if I can. Um, these I've just, I have laundered them because I was going to list them before, but I had a mark on them and now for the life of me can't remember where the mark is. So I've had these for ages and I think they've been in a previous haul, so they're Bowden shorts, um, which I have and probably a stupid size. Yeah, size flipping six. Why have I bought them? Oh, I know, because they're cheap. They're cheap and I find them readily available where I work. So these will be three pounds as well. Um, fat face. Again, a pair of shorts. I know that I've got more shorts here. Um, yeah, All Saints. So these won't, no, not All Saints, and other stories. I'm so confused. <laughs> right, so yeah. They're definitely shorts, aren't they? Yeah, um, another three pounder. I will be attempting to get 20 for these. This is quite a cute little thing. Um, and this is one of the benefits, I think, of the fact that I have been in the um, shop on a regular basis. Is when these came out, the bags were split because the way they do it, they put, they put, they put like, like for like stuff so it'll be like tops and dresses and then women's bottoms so the i think the women's bottoms came out first which were these and then literally like a week later i found this <laughs> was just about to come out so i was like oh that's the rest of my top so admittedly i think i have paid um six pounds all in all now for this because that would have been three and that would have been three but obviously this is like a little cami set and obviously matching probably even like pajamas is what you call it but it is liberty so i'm not going to split it up i'm obviously going to list it together um and it's probably like the more likely to sell i think at this time of year in case somebody does wear pajama type things as an outer garment and then another thing i've got here i don't know if this is three pieces or two pieces um so this is i mean saying this because i've just done a reset of my um ebay account i know exactly what i've got that's kicking around and one of the things that's kicking around is a linen east jacket so the fact that i've picked up another linen east jacket is probably not a good thing um but you know it's it's linen it is linen isn't it yeah a hundred percent linen you know and it could be like mother of the bride thing but then like i say this other one's not sold and i've put that on auction and i also have a waistcoat that goes with it um and part of me is wondering now if there is like a skirt <sighs> This is the trouble with having everything in multiple boxes. So, yeah, a little sort of vest thing with buttons at the back. I really don't know why I've picked that up. It just seemed like a good idea at the time. And I have to 
make my decisions quite fast because I'm working, I'm on the shop floor when I make my decisions. So I have to make my decisions quite fast. I'm hoping I can get 30 for that. Um, oh, I have got another East thing here. I think this needs a wash. So this is probably not the best thing to pick up. So this is a dress. Um, I mean, my luck with the, with the brand East isn't very good. <laughs> this is crinkle. Um, I'm, sh I'm sure that there's a little mark on the inside somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining that. So anyway, I've got that and it's got these very weird sleeves, like flutter sleeves, just something to dip in your food. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, this is the sort of thing that might be appealing to somebody in the summer months. I know that some people can get fantastic prices for East, you know, and I'm talking about like the 60 to 80 mark. Never happened to me. Even when I had one of the in um, the Indian cotton block print things, I just could not get the price other people command. But never mind. Something I can tend to command prices for is All Saints. Um, and this, I know that I paid a fiver for this because All Saints tends to, tends to be one of these things which gets priced up where I work. I don't have anything to do with the, the pricing. I'm just shop floor keeping that organised. So yeah, All Saints, a UK four, so that's going to hold it back. But it is pure silk. Uh, I do sell my size four stuff sometimes so it's not all bad um i might put back all the white garments that i've got and just do them later because i've got to do my white garments down there and i i just want to do some get some stuff photographed quickly so that i can get it listed before all the stuff which i've got scheduled disappears so i've also paid five pounds for this i know it's long sleeve but it is quite lightweight you know, it's slightly sheer, um, kind of nice little thing. It's Ted Baker and it's new with tags. That's always, it always astounds me how much money they get at their shop and then how little money it sells for in charity shops. I mean, a lot of people try it for high prices. I will probably try it for like, Dirty based on the fact that it's new with tags, but I don't think I'm going to get anything more than that. I have this here, which I'm frightened to unfold because I know that this is dropping bits. So, this is a t shirt. I have just hoovered here, so I should be able to see anything that falls off. There's, there's stuff immediately everywhere. Yeah, so I'm really reluctant about this. It's literally fallen to pieces. So it's got this foil lip print, but it's covered in beads, which are stuck on very badly. Mint velvet, extra large. I checked it at the time and I thought, oh, there's none of the, none of the stuff's falling off. But then when I put it on my spreadsheet, I realised that I had a load of the stuff. A load of the beads were on my sort of desk area. And yeah, they're falling off now. They're just, it's just a really bad t-shirt. So, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not a good, it's not a good buy this. I think I've probably paid four pounds for this one. So I'm just going to fold it back up <laughs> with the beads inside it. I'm going to declare that that is an issue. We started at a 4 99 auction because that's a bit of a fail. But like I was saying, it's a white item. I might put it to one side because I really can't be asked. Right. <laughs> Sorry, there's a bit of a break there because my phone is complaining at me about um, the amount of memory that I don't have. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got a lot of backlogs of videos which I've sort of like not managed to put up. So, you know, it's partly my fault. Anyway, I have another pair of shorts here, the Fat Face. So they're definitely summery, need to go on now. 
I have a number of dresses here. I've just gone through my boxes just to pull out what I am deeming as summer stuff to do now. I think I've shown you these three dresses, so I will just raffle. Well, this is a skirt, apparently. So I'm sure I've shown you these three because <laughs> they're just not being processed. Hell Bunny, this cool little skirt, size 12. Need to get that on now because people have rock weddings and they like to wear alternative, you know, what am I talking about? Me. I, I would wear something like that in a, in, in a way. Uh, I've got a belted dress there. She's just bowed in, you know, 20 to 25 for these. And then this, which I do really like, uh, which is a cat dress in size 14. So again, you know, that might go down well. Well, it'll go down, but it, it's, a, it's a summery thing. It's a nice dress with cats on. Um, yeah, so cherry browns. Again, 25, I would think. And then this I know is all new bits, but what I've picked out here, I think is enough for me to like process over the next few days. Um, and a lot of this is just bread and butter. <laughs> so I've got a blouse there, uh, you know, sort of slight, slightly, um, slightly sleeveless but not it's just fat face it's just a basic top i sell these all the time i'll probably go on to my auction stuff because i've put a lot of stuff on auction let me put that back in the box um i think i've gone and pulled myself something else right out there um that can go back in the box that can go back in the box although i know that is very summery now i need to take that take a photo of that on the white background um and I'm not going to like mess around today. So this dress, this is quite cool. I think it's um, tensile. It's quite a, it feels like quite a sustainable fabric. So that is poetry. I'm very reluctant about picking that up. Again, a lot of this stuff, because I'm picking it up for like three to five pounds. If I put it on a, if I put it on a, a an auction, starting at 9.99 it is what it is so it's actually silk and linen but it feels like tensile um that's sustainable fabric so obviously that isn't vegan because it's got the silk in it um yeah i've decided to take a punt again with kim and co because a load of these came in and it was three quid and i just thought oh, blow it let's try it i think my problem is is that i used to sell a lot of these to germany and with all the you know packaging and laws and, uh, and i've put my postage rates up to reflect what royal mail have put them up to but i've made an allowance for the fact that i have to pay packaging or packaging fees um i don't make money sales there and i don't make any sales generally to europe anymore it's just if i sell something overseas it's generally australia and America so uh, yeah we are no longer united so yeah Kim and Co I thought I'll try some of these tops you know for the price that I can get them at it's no issue I think there's another one in there somewhere um I have a very brown dress here this is 100% silk it is like snake print I think um yeah silk jigsaw but again i think i've paid a fiver for that this brand i really find but yeah it does tend to i say that but the last thing i've got did not has not sold it's a lightweight jacket which is perfect for spring and it hasn't sold um kettle well you know and it's blue but i've got to find out the correct blue otherwise it'll, somebody will return it because it's the wrong one for their skin tone another lightweight top there in the lovely orange hobs i do believe this is silk it feels like silk i mean i think i am getting some quite nice stuff yeah 100 percent silk i am obviously getting some quite nice stuff now that i'm being picky you know as, because i don't i don't spend time sourcing other than you know the few little bits which i find at work 
I mean, I know that one was. That one had fallen off a hanger on the floor. I think this one had fallen off a hanger that was on the floor. Because I know I picked like a few, I picked a few of the Kim and Co and put them back. I've got dress and, no, I, I, the dress fell off and I decided to take that as well. <laughs> so yeah, another Kim and Co. So yeah, Paisley floral. Let's give that a whirl. This is definitely um, another one of these white stuff things. White stuff. It's got a bird on it. <laughs> Don't talk to me about birds. It's hot. The door's closed. The pigeon is annoying me. Um, so yeah, I'm not enthralled really. I know, I know that that's like a magpie, but I'm not enthralled about birds at all at the moment. <laughs> I feel like taking our bird feeders down. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, that's, you know, just a nice little top in size 14. I'll, that'll go for auction fodder. Uh, another brand which I don't do very well with, but then I just do, hmm, this probably fits into the sort of style that the brand should be. So an oversized baggy top. It's a size 12 and it's kin, and, kin for Don Lewis. Not Kim and Co. That's Kim and Co. And now my pile has fallen over. This is definitely a summery type thing. This is called the Dolores top. I say that, but I don't think it says that. I mean, this is actually new with tags. I know that I've paid five pounds for this, um, but it does. You know, although it's new with tags, it says absolutely nothing about the style name, so completely pointless. But yeah, so a sort of off the shoulder thing, but you know, if somebody wants to pretend to be Minnie Mouse, then you know, they're well away. Yeah, so Dolores, as in Dolores Hayes, um, Lolita, <laughs> that's what the style is. So kind of the market's sort of dropped out for Lindy Bop now. Did I say that it was Lindy Bop? It's Lindy Bop, it's Lindy Bop. So that'll probably be 20 if I'm lucky. Another brand that I rarely find, um, but it's just come into my path. I paid three pounds for this. So I know this because these next three items, the last three items that I've got here, I only, I only got these on Monday. So Sahara linen top, very pleased to get that. The last, I think I've had Sahara twice. No, I think I've only had it once. Um, yeah, okay, I'm getting confused with something else. I had I picked up Sahara once. I paid five pounds for this blue top, and when I got it home, I realised it was very ditched and it was very bobbled. And the, so I put it on a nine ninety nine auction, and it did fly up to like the ten the, the twenty pound mark, and I was like quite surprised considering it was very bobbled. <laughs> so there you go Sahara it, it, obviously it's the desirable stuff is the, it, the items that will sell so this is a brand as well that I rarely find uh, Marameco but it is the Uniqlo collaboration uh, this is actually this and this one here the two dresses and they were both marked at five pounds and obviously we put them into our shop still at five pounds and I bought them, but they'd come from one of the other shops in a more lucrative area of Manchester where they'd obviously been on the shop floor for, I think it's three weeks before they send it to us and they hadn't sold. And yet, you know, five pounds sounds like very reasonable. So it sounds like even the places like Altrincham and Didsbury are having to like rethink their prices. So I might have to like do a trip out to the places where I've given up on if they are pricing like that and not selling things. So anyway, yeah, so this is sat for three weeks for some reason at one of the, I, I can't tell from the handwriting whether it's Didsbury or um, Altrincham, but it's one of the two, not sold. So I don't know if that's telling me something about that. <laughs> I need to look into how much the Uniqlo Marimaco is actually selling for, but hopefully i mean it's got pockets this is i mean if i was a dress person maybe i would have that but it's i simply won't wear it <clears throat> so 
hopefully 25 to 30 and then this I picked up because I just was just I, I picked up some ghosts um, a month ago no a month ago what I'm talking about I haven't listed for a month so it wasn't a month ago um, a couple of months ago and was so excited because it was Marks and Spencer's ghost and it was a top um, and then when I looked at the sale prices it wasn't really selling through and then I realized that it's the ghost dresses that sell really well however it's a certain type of ghost dress and they have to have been worn by Holly Willoughby or um, Kate Middleton you know and probably the Holly Willoughby ones are going to like go ah, climb down um, so I found this one and I just thought oh that's great so I paid five pounds for this uh, so yeah ghost so that's what the label should look like without any mention of Marks and Spencers um, but I don't think I'm gonna get any more than 20 to 25 for that um, from looking from looking at the one person who's actually sold the exact same one is a reseller herself and um, that she'd only got 25 for, for it if that because it was an offer that she accepted so <laughs> So yeah, not, not as exciting as I was hoping, but you know, keep looking, keep looking. So yeah, that's all the stuff which I'm going to do now. I'm going to iron those and I'm going to get them processed and photographed. A lot of the time I do try and like do a whole dearth of stuff, but I don't want to like knock myself out with it. I just want to get the female mannequin out and just work on normal... <laughs> You know just a few normal bits so i'm going to leave the white and things which need to be in a different location um for photographing so i've actually those two kim and co things they could probably do with a white background rather than that background because it just pops a little bit better it's just about popping the color sometimes i think so yeah the one thing that I'm tempted to do while I'm in here before I've even got the white background is obviously this top here. So it's a COS t-shirt, but it's, you know, it's striped, it's nautical, it's summery. So if I could get that done, that might be a bonus. Um, got a few nice little bits here that's that that is another thing which I'd like put aside so this is a this is one of the comic relief t-shirts and usually when I do the comic relief t-shirts I always do a donation to comic relief it just feels fair the way I feel at the moment with my eBay store <laughs> it's it's absolutely dead restarting it resetting it was a really stupid idea it hasn't worked yet I mean trust the process people say and I'm like very untrusting so yeah I've got I've picked up that the Mickey Mouse stuff which I've had before in various things hasn't done very well but I'm hoping that that will because apparently it's Peter Blake uh, but I still think it's only like a 20 pound t-shirt um so those bits might go on a back burner until I can be bothered to take photos in the other room but I still might hire I still want to iron them. Right, so that's my items which I'm going to process today. And I will be back again with another haul because I've still got to him now. So many boxes of stuff. Um, if you're interested, I mean, in seeing the stuff which I have got from family members, which is sort of like donated, if you'd like to see what I've got, you'd let me know because I don't really know if it's interesting because I've it was two bags worth of stuff some of it which I've put to take to the charity shop that I work at and some of which I've decided to list on my eBay account even if it is just at 99p auctions because I kind of want to drive some stuff into my store at, at 99 pence auction just for the sake of interest so if you are interested in seeing what I've decided to list from a donation from relatives let me know because I, I don't know I don't know if it's like boring you I, I, I tend to do my hauls of the stuff which I have like cherry-picked from charity shops because those those are things that I'm pretty confident will sell um so let me know if you're interested in that but anyway I will be back Simon will be back you don't look very cheerful 
I've threatened them with another wash, even though they had only, they've only just had a wash two weeks ago, because these flies that are coming in, I feel like they've been everywhere. But nothing's going to happen until this pigeon flings its hook. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's that's another story. Anyway, so thanks for watching. I will be back again soon with another haul video. And thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you for hanging around. And thank you for being patient with my big gaps in my videos. So goodbye. And thanks for tuning in. <laughs>